Welcome back to Television A7 in 3, 2, 1. Welcome back to Television A7. One thing I want to get into nope, in 3, 2, 1. Welcome back to Television A7. The Real Housewives of Atlanta Season 15 Episode 9. This is something I want to quickly like recap about this episode now we have a conversation that's going on between drew and her sister allison and we find out a lot of things to why as to why allison has been feeling the way she's been feeling over the past few years so the first thing we learn is that allison is 22 years older than drew now i knew allison was older you can see that she looks older However, 22 years, I had no idea. So when she's managing Drew and helping her out with her career and everything, it totally makes sense. Drew said she was like a sister slash, you know, momager in that situation because of the age gap. So she really looked out for Drew and made sure that she was on the right path. And another thing about Allison that we found out was that she's been, you know, writing for shows, helping to produce some shows. She, I believe she said, like, Amen. And there was a lot of other shows, like, well-known shows that Drew mentioned her sister was a part of in some way, shape, or form. And I was like, oh, great. And that's good to know. So, shout out to Allison for, for that. And then we get into why she kind of had like a mental breakdown during COVID because you guys remember on a previous episode, they flashed back to where Allison was being apologetic to Drew. Like, oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't really be here for you in your career right now, but I'm just so stressed and I'm just having like this mental break. And Drew's on the phone telling her like, girl, Allison, like, it's okay. Take some time for yourself. Like, I'll be okay. I'll figure it out. And Drew has been managing herself, but come to find out that her sister, that Allison was in an abusive relationship and she was telling Drew and the mom, their mom, like, oh, yeah, I don't even know if you guys knew this, but the guy I was with all these years ago, like, he was abusive toward me. He was beating me up. And because I never dealt with that trauma and went to get help, therapy, whatever it may be, those, you know, that kind of came back up during COVID and just led to my mental break like, the sister Allison had to be checked into like a mental facility and to really kind of like get it together so it's pretty brave of Allison to come on and tell millions of people what she was dealing with and you know because a lot of times the mental health thing is kind of like a stigma it, it can be a stigma in the black community so it was good for Allison to come and do that and now it kind of makes more sense as to why when she said those things to Ralph about him being controlling and manipulative why she said those things because she saw them because she had been through that before now it makes even more sense and I mean look what's going on now she was right and that's just what Drew has told us. It's probably a whole bunch of stuff that we don't even know, may never know. But we've seen some of it play out on TV. So Allison was right. Allison was right. But let me know what you guys think about that conversation that Drew had with her sister Allison and their mom and just talking about the past and the whole mental health thing and being in an abusive relationship and her just being so happy that she's able to be back you know to see drew and being able to come and stay in her home this that and the third after you know the the banning from ralph for her comments which actually turned out to be true 
drop your thoughts down below it's television a7 i'm gonna have some more housewives content coming for you guys so make sure to stick around and i will catch you guys in the next video